Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Richard today, and today we're gonna put on a Leviton dimmer. It's digital. This thing is like packed with features. I'm just reading it and stuff like that. And today we're gonna put it in. So, first things first, make sure your switch is dead. Of course, how you do that is you turn it on, go to your breaker panel downstairs, and if you don't know what that looks like, let's quickly give you a jog down there. But mine is in the basement, and as you can see, we go into the basement, boom, there's your breaker panel. That's what it looks like. It should be labeled. If it's not, I suggest that you label it as you're flicking them off this time. You're going to flick them off until that light goes off, and then just label which one goes where. Even for me, I'm going to start to label like this one I know now is the outside light. light just putting simply lighting on it is cool and all, but it doesn't help. So. Let's go upstairs and uh, pull the four screws out of the plate like this. Pull these four screws out. This is the switch I'm going to be taking out. So next you can either use a Robertson, a lot of times there's a Phillips as well like this, or not a Phillips, sorry, a flat blade. With mine, I think my flat blade slot is covered with paint, so I'm just going to use a quick Robertson and pull out the switch that I'm going to be changing. So next thing you're going to do is, see this is the switch, move it out of the way. You're going to have three morettes in here, you might have more, you should only have three. One's going to be your ground wire, one's going to be your white, and one's going to be your black. Now we need to figure out which one's going where. As you can see this black moret is feeding the entire system here. It's feeding this switch, it's feeding that. So this is your main hot wire, that's how you figure out. Because if there's one that's going to this switch, that switch, the next switch, that's a main hot wire. The one you're looking for is, see how this one only goes to, if you look in there, this wire only goes to that white one there. It goes right here. Doesn't go to the other switches, just this switch. This is the one going to the light. That's, and then that way you can distinguish, okay, well that's also, that white wire is going only to this light. And you just need to know this because when we hook this up to the new switch, that white wire is actually going to get hooked right up to are the new switch so it's going to come out of this bundle it's going to go to the new switch i believe and then this black one this hot wire is going to go to its own and then the one going to the light is going to go to its own let's pull out the diagram and it'll make more sense okay so first thing we're going to need is of course a red i've got another yellow one in there these are all my spare ones i always keep them if i get extras so as you can see that's that one that goes in there and there's nothing else attached to it. So, first of all, just cut the old one out. All right, so I hooked it up so that way I can show you how this goes the easiest way. So, green, tie in with all these bare metal grounds. White, just put white to white. Black, you know the how I showed you? The black, the hot wire goes to this switch, the, uh, and there, and everywhere else there's usually more than one. Boom. It goes right there. Now, Red one, see how that one goes right up into the ceiling? Red goes right up into the ceiling because that goes right to the light bulb. After you've done that, you've got this last wire now. I won't be using this. This is for if, you know, if you have a switch here and then you have a switch in the other corner over there, that's where this wire is used and that's when you'd wire that in. But since we, I don't use that in this application, this is only switch for this circuit. All I do now is I'm going to take all this, now that I've moretted them all, and tie them on. Now, if you're wondering about, uh, for moretting, how it all looks and stuff, it's very easy. You just strip off a piece of the wire. Let's see if I can take one of these off, and I'll quickly show you. If you don't have a moret, you probably shouldn't be doing this, but see how it's all wound around there now? All you do is you put your wire up to next to the other ones, you put it on, and you start screwing it. And just keep on screwing it until that wire starts to wrap around the other ones. And I like to get at least seven spins on it, but yeah. And then you just make sure, well, this is a bad one to say, make sure no copper is exposed, but see how these ones have no copper exposed? You don't want any copper exposed on the hot or the neutral or any of them really except for your ground because that's just a ground. After you do this, gently tuck each one back in behind the switch because as you can see from our dimmer uh, right here, you're going to need a lot of space back there. So make sure you try and tuck them See how this one's a much thinner switch? Try and tuck them behind that switch. So I'll show you when I'm done. 
See how I've tucked them all back there? Now they're all back there, we're all good. I just checked all my connections, nothing's, you know, that's basically all. You just gotta make sure it's that way. And then if I put this here, it'll go like that. So you have, there's two things you could do now. Before putting it in, or even tying it in, you can either go and just try and flick on the circuit breaker, make sure it doesn't automatically trip back over. And that's what I would suggest you do. Or what you do is you put this switch in right there, and then you go and uh, try out the circuit breaker. Completely up to you. I'm probably just gonna tie it in because I'm confident with my wiring here. All right, guys, so I've determined you can see the power light right here. We know we have power. First thing I'm gonna do is take this peely off. You can see it says mode. So, flick this up. You'll see it clicks. From this point, we're gonna select the mode. Now, you're either gonna do pro or you're gonna do standard. Pro is gonna let you set like Monday through Sunday or Monday to Friday or Saturday, Sunday. It's gonna give you a lot more options. Standard is a very, very basic uh, three on off events from Monday, Sunday, uh, like Monday to Friday and Saturday, Sunday and daylight savings time. It doesn't really do a lot of, or sorry, daylight savings time and like sun up and sundown are not available in standard mode. I want that because actually what I'm gonna be doing is I'm programming this outside light to come on during uh, sun up and sundown. So on the mode, I need to switch that. So it says uh, pro because we don't want that. So first things first, let's set this. See, there's pro, set. Let's set the time. So, let's check the time right now. I actually don't know off the top of my head. Da, da, da. Apparently it's 628. So by the time I set it, it'll be at least 629. So, let's set six. Now, I wonder if it automatic, okay. If you look right here, sorry, there it is. Uh, make sure it says PM or AM. For me, it's PM. So set six. And I'm going to put this to 29. PM set. Perfect. Daylight savings time, auto. Perfect. Now time to set the date. So give me one sec. I actually need to check the date. So currently flashing, we have to set the year. So for me, it's 2016. 10th month. 25th day. All right, so if you're looking at your sheet, if you look, there is a address right here you need to go to. If you're doing sun up, sun down, it's very important you go here. Uh, type that in to your browser. It's super simple. It's set, type the 24 clock, and then put in uh, the color of your switch, and then put in 24 again. And then it's going to just simply ask you the city you live in and the province or state you live in. Once you put it in, uh, it, you press it, it'll give your longitude and your latitude. What you're going to do from that point is go here, press menu. And after you press menu, keep pressing it until you see the sun in the corner and it'll give you, you'll see coordinates like this. So then you press set and then you would uh, go up and down arrow and set it to the longitude and latitude that it tells you to. First put in the north one, then set it in the west one. And then if it tells you an offset, put the offset in and then the zone, as you can see, I've put Pacific for mine, but whatever your time zone is, set it there, and boom. Now we've got that set. Now let's set up the actual sun up, sun down. At the home screen, press the black button here. Say we're at the home screen. We're gonna press menu again. Keep pressing the menu until we see, actually, first one, program. We're gonna press set. One event. And again, you do this if, for the next event, it's third event. So as you can see, I want mine on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If you don't, 
you just press the arrows and it'll switch that. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Would you like to edit certain days? And stuff like that. We're gonna press set. But yeah, you can, let's go again here, set. I want all that. I want sun down for the light to turn on. And then for this, I want sun up. And see how, it's, see how you got that whole pie chart now? That's saying, okay, so you want the light to be on all that time. Set. Now we're at event number two. So event number one is set. And so, before my light wasn't on outside, if I open up the door and look, the light now automatically turned itself on. That's awesome. So, that's how you set up a sun up and sun down event. Now if you're gonna be setting up timed events, let's show you through option number two. I'm not going to be saving that. I'm going to be deleting it after I set one for you. So let's press the up arrow. I want to make a second event set. I only want it to come on on Mondays. So I'm going to press the arrow so it's only on Mondays or I can select Tuesday. Monday. Once you set Monday, that's going to ask you about Tuesday. I only want Monday. So let's see. Monday. And since I only want Monday, so after you select a certain date, so watch this. After you select Monday, it's going to add, give you the option to add Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And if you want it to come on on that day, you just press set, and it's going to set that up too. And no, I don't want it on, so I only want it on Monday and Friday, we'll say. We'll press set. Now it's going to let you choose the time. So, see where it says, has all the dots? You'll press set. You can set, okay, I want it to happen at 8 a.m. in the morning. At 8 o'clock in the morning, at 8 a.m., I want that light to come on. And I want it to turn off at 12 p.m. So if you look, it's showing you how little I'm choosing. All right, I only want, I wanted to turn off at 12, 12 p.m. Now we're at event number three. My event number two, I don't want it, so I'm gonna press set. And I'm just gonna go through and press set on there. Go through all these, press set. And I'm gonna just press delete on this. Delete event number two. Boom, see how it just went blank? So yeah, that's how you delete an event. Anyways, I just wanted to show you how to set the time and stuff, just in case you're gonna be doing individual timers for each and every day. Personally, I'm, I think it's so cool it has this sun up and sun down feature. And for me, and if you're ever going through a menu, you're like, wait, 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 I don't wanna do this. Just press this and it brings you back to the main screen. After you're done setting it like I have, now I can see every, it's set there. It's done, this is down. Now, you can manually turn it off, so you have to be careful because if you have kids, they might manually turn off your light, like so. See how I manually turned it off? All you do is turn it on, and it's back on. But uh, other than that, it's got an on-off. It's all set. You can see the pie chart. Looks cool. It's clean. And that longitude, latitude stuff is just awesome. Like, I'm very happy with it. Anyways, I hope this helped you set up your uh, switch. It's pretty easy to set up, I must say, and yeah, anyways, thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed the video.